Wearables, the Internet of Things, are developing at an alarming rate. But where do the gadgets finish and the serious innovations start? With me to set the record straight is Martin Gale from IBM. Martin, first off, what difference can this technology make? Why is it important? So I think it's already making a big difference to people in their everyday lives. So I think most people have experimented or seen some kind of wearable gadget. But actually where I think it's going to really start to get traction and importance is in the enterprise space. So when we start looking at what the impact of wearables are going to be in people's working lives, how we deliver service to customers. So whether it's you know something like a watch that gives you a heads up that a valued customer needs help, or it might be perhaps instrumenting health and safety equipment. Say if I'm wearing a hard hat and it's got an accelerometer or a sensor on it, and it can see that I've fallen over somewhere awkward or you know from an industrial situation that kind of thing. What needs is it addressing? The obvious need around wellness whether that's us as consumers or also in the workplace so we're now hearing about different employers looking at whether wearables can help contribute to the overall wellness of their workforce. I think there's a piece there about wearables as a way of receiving information in a more consumable way. So things like the smartwatch is a good example of that. Or even things like glasses where you've got a heads up display. Maybe if people are doing a job that requires them to use both hands, actually you can start presenting information or notifying people without them having to fish around in their pockets and look for things. So I think what will drive it is the, the needs of the users and the experience that we're trying to deliver. And what innovation are you seeing coming out of this? So wearables are part of the picture either as a source of data or a way of interacting with people in a way that's not looking at a piece of glass of some kind. But actually when you put that together with things like analytics that can make sense of that data, it starts to become extremely powerful because not only are you getting more and richer sources of information upon which to get insight, but you're also providing a mechanism to surface that insight at the moment of need. So, you know, analytics is a very powerful thing if you sat at your desk in your office perhaps, but actually it'd be even more powerful if that was made available to you at exactly the point that you needed it when you're serving a customer, when you are perhaps discharging a patient from a hospital or, or whatever, something like that. Clearly manufacturers need to be careful when developing this to keep data secure. How much progress would you say is being made in this? The success of the technology is, is not always just down to the the functional piece so we can make this sensor talk with this server over here but it's also the legislative context that that fits into so I would see that as a continuation of the work that we've done over a number of years actually around things like patient data and the you know the increased digitization of the world it means that we've had that focus and also also you start getting into things like the ethics of holding data and what you can and can't hold which actually cut to the heart often for a lot of organizations even if they're not bound by specific legislation you start getting into a well just because you can collect this information should you and what are the implications for your brand that kind of thing so moving forwards what can this industry achieve what are you looking towards in the future from a wearable technology perspective as a form factor i think what we'll see is um, a gradual introduction of things like you know so the watch is starting to become part of that jigsaw of different devices that we just use just like smartphones have just like tablets are starting to become part of what we do in everyday life. I think for the appropriate uses, we'll see more things like the smartwatch, I think the glasses also, things like you know, sort of heads up displays, virtual reality will start to have their place. I think the thing that's gonna drive it will be ultimately the transformational potential of it. I think we're very good as an industry, as a technology industry, at, look, at talking about technology, almost looking for the problem. I think where it starts to get really powerful is when we start thinking about people and what they do and how they live their lives. And we think about the friction that everyday people have in their lives, whether it's as consumers or you know, us as employees in the workplace. And then we start saying, well, actually, well, what different pieces of technology can solve some of those problems? It's what we're doing with mobile. I think it'd be what we do with wearables as well. Thanks for watching. For more videos from our new economy, please subscribe.